Here's what's left of the packaging for my Tempur-Pedic pillow. Now, I had to get two of them. I needed queen size. These are the ones I got, the Temper Cloud Premium Soft Queen Pillow. There's two of them. And I got them absolutely free. And I'm going to show you how I did it. Not everybody's going to be able to do this, but some of you may be able to. I got them from Bed Bath & Beyond, and I used a 20% off coupon. They send these out in the mail all the time. So I always get them, and I get them in my email also. So I had two. I could use 20% off on each one. These pillows retailed for $100, $99.99 each. 20% off brings them down to 80 bucks, So that's a little bit better. And then I'll show you what I did for the rest. I use a Discover credit card. And they have all different ones available. I've been a card holder for many, many, many years. The card I have is the one at the top you see here, which is the 5% cash back. Now, there, there's an important statement there. In rotating categories each quarter, up to the quarterly maximum each time you activate. Four times a year, I have to log on to their website and sign up for the next 5% bonus. But it does say I get 1% cash back on all other purchases. Well, that's a good thing. Over the years that have gone by, you know, we charge stuff and we pay it off immediately. It's there just as a convenience, which is what a credit card is supposed to be. So I always, own, I, I always earn 1% cash back on every purchase I make. So every statement, I always get 1% of that back in cash back rewards bonuses. The previous three months, they had 5% cash back on restaurants, so we went out to eat quite a bit. This way we could rack up the 5% cash back on that. Plus, we rarely go out, so we figured, ah, why not? Let's earn a few bucks while we enjoy ourselves. Now, I'm on the revolving 5%, so, like I said, four times a year I log on, and these are pretty much the quarters they have, gas stations, ground transportation, and wholesale clubs, home improvement stores and wholesale clubs, restaurants, and October through December is Amazon.com and Target, and I'm already signed up for that. So here's my current balance of cashback bonus awards. I can take that right now in cash and walk away, and I still earn on all of my new purchases that I make. So this number has been increasing, and the amount has been accruing and accruing as time goes on. So when we have purchases that we want to make, but we don't really want to spend money on it, we use the cashback rewards bonus. What's also nice is that I can actually spend this money directly on Amazon.com, so it doesn't actually even put a charge on my credit card. Bottom line is you got to pay for everything that you buy, okay? Uh, but I can use this money as real money, or I could take it, put it right in the bank, I could pay a bill with it, I can actually even pay my Discover bill with it if I wanted to. So that's what's currently here, but then if you take that in cash, I'm only going to get 110751 You can bolster the amount that you get back. Another good thing is it says we will credit your account with your cashback bonus balance if your account is closed or if you've not used it within 18 months. This is money that you have earned by simply using your credit card and they can't take it away from you. So you're going to get paid that amount even if you stop using it, you know, you'll get it anyway. But you can get gift cards and it says get at least five dollars free added to each card. Now I don't know who Brooks Brothers is and I don't shop with them but you can see that twenty dollars gets you $25, 40 gets you 50 and 80 gets you 100 There's even some sweeter deals. Cheryl's Cookies, I guess pun intended. 20 gets you 30 40 gets you 60 80 gets you 120 But I'm shopping at Bed Bath & Beyond. $20 gets me 25 So here is one of seven $25 gift cards that I got. I'll show you how it worked. So the original retail price of these was $99.99. I got two of them, so I'll multiply by two. Comes to $199.98. 
Here tax is 8.625%, so we multiply by 1.08625 and get a total out the door price of 217.23 as it's rounded up. I didn't pay 217.23. Here's my final total. I got mine for 20% off each. We had 99.99 times 0.2 is 20%, and that gets me 19.998 off. So if I do 99.99 minus 19.998 is 79.992. I got two of them. That came to 159.98. It's not rounded up because there's a four at the end. Multiply that by 1.08625 for the tax. My total was 173.78. Now that's still a chunk of change. You can sweeten the deal a little bit. When I ordered it, I said, well, let me have them just ship it to my house because they have free shipping on orders over 29 bucks, or at least they did at the time I ordered. And this is well over 29 bucks, so that saved me from having to go to the store. Saved me the gas, the aggravation, the traffic, any of that stuff, even though it's right here. You know, they could just deliver it right to my door. I could wait a few days. I waited this long. Why not? So that was my final out-the-door price. But remember, I didn't pay that because I used my cashback rewards bonus cards or bonus money and got gift cards. So now I got seven of these. So now let me open up another calculator window over here. Okay. Over here, I paid $20 for each of the seven cards. But they're worth $25. So I got 25 times 7 is $175. I have a credit of $1.22. Still left on that gift card. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I got 175 bucks worth of gift cards. Remember, I didn't spend 175 bucks. I spent 140 bucks. That was seven times 20. So I spent 140. So I saved 35 dollars by using my cashback rewards bonus money towards gift cards. So I saved 35 dollars. We also had. I'll round it off and make it another 20 per pillow. So I saved $75 off the original retail price of the pillows. So $200 for getting taxed for a moment worth of pillows only cost me $125. That's $25 more than the cost of one pillow. So I saved $75 plus they shipped it to my house once again, so that's really an intangible benefit that I can't calculate for you. So I got a huge savings on that. Plus, like I said, I didn't even spend a dime because that's money I earned just for being a good consumer. And my net cost was minus $1.22. So I got two pillows with a credit left over of $1.22. And that is how you can, by being smart with your money and managing your money properly, get stuff for absolutely free. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.